Flowers' love for music was one like no other. He played the saxophone and has been a band director for over 20 years. He graduated from Baltimore City College Senior High School and also the Morgan State University. He has previously been the head director and co-director of several bands throughout Baltimore, Maryland. Even leading to his unexpected passing, he has left an infectious legacy with each school as followed. Milford Mill Academy Spartan Marching Band, Old Court Middle School Lions Pride Marching Band, and Randallstown High School Golden Ram Marching Band. Flowers had a personality that would turn your, your bad day upside down with a good laugh through one of his infamous jokes. He was an angel on earth and changed many lives. Flowers was a great person to his students, friends, and colleagues. He opened doors for his students and strived to show them what it's like to have an HBCU environment and a family outside of their own home. His impact has led his students to seek band opportunities and follow their dreams and whatever they are. We are heartbroken about this news, but Flowers' legacy will always live through everyone he has touched. And that's not just the words of us, but we want to share some of the words that came from some of his current and former students. Mr. Flowers, you put a smile on everyone's face every day, and you were the family that some of us needed and wanted. Um, and you pushed us in ways that we will never understand. And thank you for that. We, we appreciate it every day. Since sixth grade, he's always been there for me through any and everything. Anxiety attacks, personal family problems, he always helped me. And I always express gratitude, you know, tell him I'm thankful and I appreciate it. But I never told him I love him. And that's something I wish I did. Firstly, I want to thank you for allowing me to express myself, especially musically, and for continuously supporting me through all that I do. I am blessed that I had the opportunity to see everyone together one last time. Thank you for being the loving, yet very honest, uncle figure in my life. This is T signing out. I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you have done for me. All of the work that you have put into my life has never ever gone unnoticed. And I'm forever grateful for all the lessons, the love, and you know the light that you always gave to me. And I'm just forever grateful for you being proud of me, for you telling me that you're always proud of me. And I promise to always continue to make you proud every single time that I get. Without you, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be where I am today. And thank you once again. And I'm spreading love and light to everybody. I just want to say thank you for being a mentor. Thank you for having a vision. Thank you for being a person that we could lean, well, I can lean on in my time of need. You were always there. If you didn't answer the call when I called, I was getting a call right back. I just want to say thank you for everything. Rest easy. You are loved. And to any Golden Ram that is hearing this or seeing this, know that you can always come home. He's helped me get through a lot with like, even outside of marching band, he was always there for me pretty much. So I would just say thank you to him for... Oh. <laughs>
Hello, Brian. My name is Mr. Gray, but flowers for some reason call the mic. So for tonight, for today, I'm going to be Mr. Mike. So Mr. Mike, put the mic. All right. All right, welcome to the memorial to Mr. Flowers to Son, Tony to Son. Welcome to Flowers to everyone. All right, all right. Uh, before we get started, one thing I know about this flower was he was a very, very live person. Never seen him without smiling face. Never seen him without cracking jokes. Never seen him without having fun. So we gonna have a little fun, real quick. We gotta do something, y'all. Little, little damn, we gotta bring it up. All right, so I wanna see which side is the loudest. We'll see which side is the loudest. Is it this side? <laughs> is it this side? <laughs> is it this side?
I wasn't going to be when I was.
Marching Band at Howard University, and I was a member of the Ruler Marching Band for three years. And during that three years, Mr. Flowers, he really had an everlasting impact on me. And during that time, he exposed me to band culture, he exposed me to HBCU culture, and because of him, I was able to fulfill my dream of attending an HBCU and being a member of the OLI Dance Ensemble of the Showtime Marching Band. He really taught me the importance of hard work and dedication and really like going out to achieve your goals and putting your mind to anything. And that really resonated with me throughout my entire tenure at Howard University so far. And I was actually able to finish out what I think was my last year with Showtime Marching Band back at home at Morgan. And I was able to see him, who I didn't know was my last time. And really wholesome experience for me, full circle, and just being able to connect with him again after he really gave me the steps and gave me the steps to really gave me what I needed to pursue marching band at collegiate level. And for that, I'll forever be grateful. Mr. Flowers will forever live through me. His legacy will forever live on through myself and the rest of the students. And thank you.
They'd be like, hey Jackass, what you doing? <laughs> and I ain't not really had no words for them. I was just like, alright, so I'll catch y'all later. Old boy buddy. But just that, just that little, them little sentiments, I never realized the impact they had. When I got to high school, turns out he was just sitting out right there at my high school when I was running the band in high school. Still doing the same things I was doing in middle school, it's not the worst. And he still came to me every single day. What you doing? Why are you doing this? Talk to me, talk. Every other teacher gave up. Don't nobody care about him. Don't nobody care about him. Mr. Fox was the only man that actually stuck to it. The only man that stuck to it and kept, kept antagonizing me to try to change my ways. But I ain't gonna listen. You know, I, I've been through jail with everything. I still never listened. He still never gave up on me. I moved to North Carolina my freshman year of college. Got put out of college because I ain't had no guidance. Came back up here, Mr. Robinson was like, yo, Father started to lose too much, man. You should come up there with me. I was like, cool. Father was like, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna take care of you. You guys, Mr. Dasha. I ain't know how to. I ain't know how to instruct nobody. I ain't know how to mentor. I ain't know how to guide. They was ready to fire me. <laughs> I'm assuming Flowers was probably like, Nah, I know this kid. Leave him. But he gave me that second opportunity. I don't know what changed, but somehow I changed my ways. And I started doing things for the better. And he just stay on top of me. Go out to eat. Go out to drink. Just stay on top of me. All day, all day, all day, all day, all day. And I never, I never had another male show me that kind of love. When an old boy, when the band was on war, I think it took what, a two, three year hiatus? I was right back in jail. I lost my contact with Mr. Flowers. I went right back to my old ways. Man came to me and was like, hey, I need to talk to you. You want to start signing up around time, I need you to be there. I told him what I was doing, he said, I don't care, cut it out, stop it, come with it. I came with him. And then as the mentor, so many, so many young adults, so many faces that I seen that remind me of myself. I could have helped but change my face. But it's the fact that this man, since I was in sixth grade, never in his life turned his back on me. Stop. Never. Stop. I had family members turn that back. Men who were so called married to my mother turned that back. But this man who didn't know me from a piece of dirt never turned his back on me. And show that one I love you show it. I see him show it to everybody that's it. Tony Flowers saved my life. It's all right. He saved my life. Yeah. 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 And honestly, that hurts that I never really got to sit down. I don't know if he is and really tell him how much he really did. I never did. Joey did it all the time, but I never got to say thank you. Just thank you. You don't even know the impact you made on me. Thanks to Ramson and my time here at Ramson, I was able to pack some things up. I moved to North Carolina. I got away from Baltimore. I got away from my old ladies because I never wanted to let that man down. I never wanted to let that man down, so I got away. And I'm telling you the truth, I've been doing nothing but growing and success since I got away. But I know that's what he wanted. That man saved my life. Saved my life. And I don't want nothing. I want nothing but my life. And I know you hear me. And I just want to say thank you. And rest in prayer with us. And thank you all for coming and showing this man love. He truly deserves it. Amen. And I'm going to say it because I don't really care who the fan is, because if you don't mean, you don't mean. The black man that are in here, reach down and grab a young man and sow into his life. I, for one, am sickened by the daily news we get that another one is coming. So if you don't do anything in your life, Take some time to reach down and show us a young man's life. Because there, 
there is where you, is where you will see testimonies like this young man's here. You can't have a testimony if you haven't been tested. So Mr. Flowers and a lot of other young black men are in this building and have been in this building for a long time are trying to get into the heads and minds of these young men every day. Pray for us. Encourage us. Because it's hard. It's hard. But we won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Now.
in Randall Town High School's morning. And this routine has been performed over the last two decades. If you know Tone Flowers, you know what this routine is. Let's go. spiritual father, their only father figure they ever had, their uncle, their cousin Jojo, <laughs> you know, their mentor, and just a simple amazing teacher. There's people who remember you from when they was in sixth grade, back in like 90 something, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't even around, but it's the impact you had on people was, was so amazing and so special, so rest in power, my brother. And I'll see you on the other side. Flowers. Man, this is still unbelievable, man. 
but it's just so many amazing memories from working at Old Court with you to taking your students to North Bay and all these other trips, going to Randallstown, building that program and continue to build that program to cutting up at Ghetto Applebee's, just having a good time, man. So definitely appreciate the opportunity, man. Love you, miss you. And tell moms and pops flowers. Thank you for the opportunity that we all got to know you. And you definitely helped a lot of us grow as individuals and continuing to grow as individuals. So rest in peace, rest easy, and definitely see you on the other side. Man. Flowers, Mr. Flowers. I, I, I just never thought I was going to have to do something like this. Sometimes we, we just think that our heroes are just meant to live forever. But, you know, I just, just have to start off by... By really saying, I'm eternally grateful for every piece of knowledge you had gave, every joke that was told, every every life life lesson you gave us when we was just little kids and were too young to even comprehend the knowledge you was dropping on us. Um, I have to thank you for, for getting me started on my career as a professional musician and putting the trombone in my hand. You're one of the, the people that I really have to thank and pay homage to for getting me started in this world of music. I'm gonna keep your name alive, keep your dream alive. Mr. Flowers, I love you. Hey, yeah. Just a few words about Mr. Flowers. He has such an inspirational impact on so many lives. Ever since I met him in the fifth grade, he's always taught me to do better, be better, feel better about the things that I've gone through. And I can only imagine what he's done for everybody else. He's always had such a positive spirit, such a positive light into the room that he always walked into. Even though he had no problem telling me like how it is, okay, he always had no problem telling me. I don't know about you guys, but he always, he never had a problem telling me exactly how he felt. <laughs> but despite the good times, despite the bad times, despite all the times that he'd taken my mace, flicked my whistle out my mouth, dropped me, okay. Despite all of that, Mr. Flowers, he has such an amazing impact. And um, I will forever be grateful for him. Rest in paradise, Mr. Flowers. You will be missed. Lion's pride to Golden Rams. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again.